What's up guys, today we're here at Brett Sheffield's shop and we got my 2018 Ford F-150 and we've decided to put a two inch leveling kit on it. So in this video, I'll show you how to do it step by step and that way you guys can level out your ride. Y'all come on. All right, guys, like I mentioned in the intro, we got a 2018 Ford F-150 four-wheel drive that we're gonna put a leveling kit on. And Brett works down here at Clark Ford in Amory, Mississippi. And what better place to have it done than a certified Ford technician? Like, he's got more certifications than Henry Ford himself. Which is really cool, because he's gonna be able to show you some cool, trip, cool tips, tricks, and pointers to get this job done a lot easier. What we've ordered for this kit is the Rough Country. This one is a 569 RED. It's for a 14 to a 20 F-150. It's the two inch aluminum leveling kit for the Ford. And we'll show you guys what's in the box and Brett's gonna walk you through it. And that way you guys can do it safely and efficiently because it's not as hard as you guys think. He's got some really good tips and tricks to make the job a lot easier. So let's open the box and we'll show you what comes in. All right, so the first thing is a bag of nuts. You always gotta have an extra bag of nuts because everybody likes to have extra nuts laying around. We got some more bolts and nuts. And here is the leveling kit itself. You can see how it looks. One's labeled A and out. I'm sure Brett knows about all that good stuff. And this one's the same way. And it looks like some paperwork and then some instructions, which Brett don't need all of that. So let's get into it and Brett will show you what to do step by step. You guys, come on. got the truck on the lift and Brett's already disconnected the battery cables and he's going to show you what he's doing next. First thing I come in and unhook the ABS sensor which is if you can see it right back here the one with the red lock tab to go in, release it, and then you need to push the little tab, and disconnect it, and just drop it back. Okay. So ease the hood back down. Because you want to show them on the other side what it looks like? Yeah. Okay. Because you can see it a little better. It's the same connector, it's just on the other side. right here, this one. Be that one right there. Yeah. <laughs> 
We're going to unhook the tie rod nut, the upper ball joint, the two on the strut down at the bottom, the sway bar, and the three at the top. This middle one, you do not, don't mess with it, don't, don't take it loose. Tell them what will happen if they decide they want to take it loose. Well, when you take that one loose, that's kind of going to let that spring fly apart and it'll be very, bad very, thing. very, bad things will happen. be very bad. <laughs> then we're going to unhook the bracket for the brake line in both places right here. Okay. And the vacuum line coming to the four wheel drive actuator. Let me grab some stuff. Now do you think this is a job that people could do at home on the weekends if they want to level their forwards out? Yeah, as long as you've got some, you know, just your you can do it with the jack and jack stands. Just make sure you use jack stands and you know this safe as possible. We don't want anybody to have a F-150 laying on them. That'd be bad. And just pull all this down out of your way. And I unhook the vacuum line from the back of this actuator. It's kind of hard to see. Unplug it. And let it hang. Okay. Well, they don't have to have the fancy tools oh. and impacts and all that. You can do it all with a ratchet. And just... Yeah, you can do it with all basic. All of those are 18 millimeters. Okay. The one for the tie rod is a 21. Okay, well here we are. Watch me take that loose. Let's get it out of your way. And then we're going to take the You want to leave that one threaded on just a little bit. So that's you, why. That's why. That's exactly why right there. <laughs> Okay, now then we're going to take our top ones up here, Lee. So remember guys, you take that one all the way out, leave that one at least a couple of threads because you see why. He's taking the top three bolts loose here, not the one in the center. And that's what he was talking about a while ago. It's the one that's holding it to this bracket. Off. 
And Brett's got a cool tip for you when you go back in with the axle and he'll explain to you once we get there why you do it this way and what will happen if you don't. <laughs> Pretty expensive. It can, be. it can be a little bit on the expensive side. We're going to take our brackets loose. Gives everything a little bit extra room to be able to drop down out of the way. Now we can bring her down. Put the jack under the lower control arm and bring it up where it kind of gets the pressure off of everything so we can get the axle and all loose. Yeah, the if you want to take something and hold a little pressure down. Take your nut off, let that up. It'll just kind of fall back out of place. And then just wiggle your axle until it pops loose. You want to ease the jack down? Yeah, you can. Go ahead and ease her down. Just let it all the way down. Out and I just lay her right there. And then we can take a pry bar, go in and pull that up, push down, and it'll come right out. Kind of pull this back a little bit to get it to move in that bushing. Just pull her right out. And that there is where your leveling kit will sit on the top. Sounds like a good idea. Let's go for it. Just want to take these studs that they fit down in the holes and get them started. Set her down on Drop her on. To explain to everybody where it says out is actually facing the inside of the truck now. that is why you're doing that. the inside because this offsets your bolts so what was the out is now going to have to be the in to get your bolts to line back up into the frame so you've got to turn the whole assembly 180 degrees so you guys learned something cool right there 
and then because it offsets your bolts. Would you hand me the Matco ratchet and there you go. Thank you. So how many of these lifts do you think you've installed? Uh, since probably 14, a couple hundred, easy. <laughs> and then it's been several. I know the instructions show a lot more steps. Yeah, there's a lot more to it. So you're driving them out just so you can get the bottom right. back in, right? Right. Gives you a little extra room to work it in there. Here where they gotta be super careful when yep. they're doing this. 
you're not real careful and you don't get everything lined up as you're going back together, you can actually break this actuator. And unfortunately, if you break it, we don't replace it under warranty. So the best thing to do is get it started. And then we're going to roll the jack in and kind of raise it up and get some pressure off of everything. Now you can bring it up some. That's good. We just need to be able to get that nut started. Okay. Get it started and we want to make sure the axle is seated all the way. So you can see it's pretty well flush with the outside. Right there. We want to make sure it's flush and start our nut. And I wouldn't use an impact or anything to tighten that up. Just kind of get it started and run it up uh, with a ratchet. Okay. Here's this. And I don't know what we did with it. Grab the socket and I'll grab this ratchet from here. Use this one. pressure down. Tighten this. And then we'll hold her back in place. Now we can raise it back up.
just start putting it all back together. 21 goes in there. And the 18s. Explain to them real quick while they're here because you didn't mess with anything on the lower control arm. The caster and camber will be fine, right? Right. It's just the the only end. thing that it should affect is the toe in, but it will cause tire wear if you don't get your alignment. So I would definitely do an alignment because more than likely you're going to be putting oversized or a little bit bigger tire maybe for once you do this. <laughs> larger tire on it's just going to amplify the problem so right just make sure you get alignment done after you get this installed if you will hand me the other little stubby milwaukee right there we're going to put our bolts back in for our i think they're on the table also over there also but you guys can see this is a lot less steps the way he's doing it versus the instructions that actually come with your kit. I don't think many folks have vacuum pumps and all that good stuff. Just to be kind of doing it in there. Right, boy. We're gonna try to simplify it a little. Reattach everything. To just go back over and make sure you got everything back tight and routed the way it needs to be. Make sure you hook your vacuum line back up to the back of your actual hood. We are ready to put our wheel back on. And it's the exact same steps for the passenger side, and nothing's different, right? That's exactly it. Same thing. 
just the other side. I have to say, you uh, you still got some really good YouTube channels to watch. <laughs> we try. If you guys haven't seen Brett's Toolbox Tour, I'll put a card up here to the top. Y'all need to watch it because it's it's pretty impressive. It's a work in progress. Isn't it? collection since what about 96 did you say? Uh, that's when it all you know, really got started as far as at the dealership level. And Brent probably has the most impressive power tool collection of anybody. Good to go. And that's it, huh? That's all there is to it. Well, Brent, we definitely appreciate you doing this and walking everybody through how to take some shortcuts because it's going to save somebody a lot of time. I think it will. Trouble and effort. And we'll put some before and after shots up here and that way you guys can check it out. Like always, guys, if you want to get your lift kit or your leveling kit put on, they do it down here at Clark Ford, and Brent will be the one doing it. And you know, obviously can tell he knows what he's doing. So, I'm trying to try to get Brian to get you in the shadows because it's all shadows. Let me know. <laughs> so, they can bring their, uh, if they're in Mississippi and they want to have a leveling kit installed, just call just here. Just give us a ring. Clark Ford, and bam. bam. That's all there is to it. Professional installation. There you go. All right, guys, like always, check the links down in the description. We've got some cool tools, desk cap codes, all that good stuff. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button right down here. There'll be a card right up here for Prince Toolbox Tour. Y'all go check it out. Have a great one. We'll catch you next time.